أعزائي المشاهدين كما عودناكم في برنامجكم الأسبوعي برنامج إماراتي نستضيف لكم خيرة من دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة ولهذا الأسبوع نستضيف السيد جاد شلق المدير التنفيذي لشركة أفريكس جروب في إمارة دبي And the first we will start with you Mr. Jad Good yes. afternoon Thank you very much Good afternoon Wassalamu alaikum Wa alaikum salam Can we know who is Jad Shalak And when he came to United Arab Emirates And how he started his career Sure Look uh, I'm a Australian Lebanese background And uh, after hearing so much about the Emirates In 2014 I decided to move here and it was one of the best moves I have done. Um, the Emirates has provided us with great opportunities and a great uh, opportunity to grow and expand globally. So originally I'm a uh, chartered accountant from Australia and uh, I uh, also a tax agent in Australia and Ireland and in the UAE of course. That's great. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. معكم يحيى العجوز من شركة افريكس جروب انا اشتغل كشركة از تاكس كونسلتنت ادفايزر اند اوديتور فيكم تتعرفوا على شركتنا اكثر اذا فتنا على الويب سايت تبعنا www.averxgroup.com Hello, my name is Sana Farouk and I've been working with Avrix and Stone. I'm here working as an accountant and tax advisor. Um, and we do provide services 24-7 in case of any uh, tax advising. I'm Senior Accountant and Tax Consultant with Avrix Group. Welcome to Avrix Group. Uh, you came on 2014, you start your own business on 2016. Can we know how you start and you find, if you find any difficult uh, before uh, you start the license? Originally, we, uh, we wanted to start in the Emirates and uh, we found there was a lot of competition. Right. But alhamdulillah, that we were capable of uh, providing a high quality service to our clients. And this allowed us to obtain a large number of clients as well as uh, both national and multinational companies, government uh, companies. And the one thing we found with the Emirates is that if you're willing to work hard, there's great opportunities for growth. If you're able to provide a high quality service, you find the market will appreciate that and will allow you to grow and to expand on that. Let us know more about what you are specializing in Avrix Group. So sure. Avrix Group is a financial company. We specialize in traditional uh, accounting from bookkeeping to financial analysis to, uh, to various other services. We also provide auditing and taxation services. We were the first tax agents to be registered in UAE. Mm -hmm. So that was a blessing, alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we provide... Uh, Consultation also on a global scale. So we provide services for companies that want to open in the BVI, in the BVs. So we've got a conceptual view about taxation, about accounting, about all these various things. So uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, we're specialized in accounting. We also provide vanilla services, such as feasibility studies, business studies. Um, and in doing that, a lot of companies provide that, but we do advanced, uh, advanced technologies with regards to these services, such as Monte Carlo simulation, such as uh, various other techniques, which provide a very accurate uh, perspective on the business studies and on the feasibility studies. As His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, he mentioned in my vision book, we have always to be number one. I'm yes. sure it is not easy to be number one, no, but it's hard things to continue. Yes. And we know how we manage uh, our ex to be one of leaders' company in the Arab Emirates. The key thing is to try to improve every day. I mean, the market these days in the, in the world, things are changing so rapidly. I, I mean, the lifespan of technology these days is taking three to four years to change uh, various aspects and all industries are impacted. So in along with the, uh, with the vision of the Emirates, 
we were capable of always adjusting to new technologies, adjusting to new processes to ensure that we maintain a highest quality and we maintain um, the ability to provide to our clients, who are main stakeholders, the best service we can provide. How you support your customer after sales service? We ensure, along with providing timely and accurate services, we ensure that we go to them and we ensure that their satisfaction is met. So we're not one of these companies that provide service and walk away from it. We view ourselves as partners with our clients, and that's very important. So we view ourselves as being partners with the clients. We understand their business. We try to add value-added services and ensure that we're not limited by the scope of work we provide, rather by ensuring that the success of the client is met. To give good quality of service, we need to select uh, our employees in very high profile. We can say what strategy you built to select the team who work under your umbrella. Averix Group, we're very fortunate in that we view ourselves as a team. We always call ourselves the Averix family, and we mean that in every sense of the word. We don't have a hierarchical uh, position, so we don't, we, it's a very flat structure type of environment. We make sure that the staff are trained properly, and we make sure that when we're hiring, we're hiring the right attitude. This attitude means working hard, uh, pushing the boundaries, and being following the ethos of Averix, which is client first. Uh, so we're very blessed in that, and you will meet our staff uh, after during this interview. We're very fortunate in that our staff are always willing to work hard and deliver to the client on a timely manner. And our greatest assets in the company is our staff. So whenever we're hiring people, we make sure that they have the right technical attribute, but more importantly, that they have the right soft skills, the right, uh, the right ethics, the right uh, honesty levels. So yeah. from your experience, Mr. Jad, can we know what's your advice for the people who are interested to come to United Arab Emirates and to invest in this peaceful country? I would encourage them greatly. The uh, United Arab Emirates has been a great uh, society. It's a very welcoming society. It's a multicultural society in every sense of the word. Uh, there are still great opportunities in this country. Uh, I mean, the people of the United Arab Emirates are fantastic. Uh, and you find them, they're very welcoming, they're very open. Uh, I don't think you miss anything from your... Uh, from other countries by living here. I mean, I've lived for four years in the UK. I've lived for one year in France. I lived one year in New York, uh, many, many years in Sydney. Uh, I lived uh, in China for one year. And I can tell you, the United Arab Emirates provides all these cultures under one umbrella. It's a truly multicultural society that encourages innovation, that encourages growth, and encourages uh, pushing the boundaries in business to ensure success. What's your expectation for the Expo 2020? The Expo 2020, I think it's going to be a great success. Like everything in this country, uh, everything tends to, uh, tends to be very successful and very well done. So for me, the Expo, mashallah, I've, uh, when I went to it, I was very, very impressed. I've been to it four or five times. And I envisage there'll be a lot of people coming to this country, seeing this country for what it is, and willing to invest in this country, willing to grow this country. It's a very unique country uh, from all aspects. It's one of the safest countries I've been to. Um, it's one of the most progressive countries I've been to. And, um, you know, the, uh, the, the innovation in this country is fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Can we know who's your backbone, who support you always to be today in this level? Uh, from I mean, the people who are from near to you. Well, the nearest, I mean, I guess my wife and my mother, they have to tolerate, tolerate oh, all, all this pressure that I'm under. But, uh, so I want to thank them uh, and my father as well. Uh, but yeah, so it's, it, I honestly can say also from internal, the Averix family has been a great, fantastic support for me. Uh, I always can go to any staff and I know that they will give me a genuine opinion that will look to push the company forward uh, in the future.
Alhamdulillah, we say always for Allah for what He did Alhamdulillah. for us. Alhamdulillah. The United Arab Emirates, one of the best countries in the world for the safety and security, which helped us to grow in our business. More than 230 nationality, 156 language, more than 100 culture. But we support each other because we respect and we love this country. We love the rulers of United Arab Emirates. Definitely. For what they prepare for us for the smart government, which make everything clear. Yes. Today, uh, from Mr. Jad Chala to the United Arab Emirates and to the leaders of the United Arab Emirates. What's your message? My message, thank you so much for providing us this opportunity. Uh, I mean, coming from Australia and from Lebanon, uh, I can say I felt very welcome. I felt this is my country uh, as much as any Emirati. Uh, I felt that there is great opportunities for growth. Uh, the innovation that's happening here is absolutely fantastic. I mean, the vision um, that is uh, occurring and if, how everyone's following the vision, it's fantastic. It's really fantastic. And the unity in this place. I mean, you find all nationalities want this country to grow. All nationalities want to see progressive uh, in innovation, progressive growth, progressive uh, investments in this country. I would encourage anyone to come and invest here and to establish a head office or business here. And of course, I hope that's done through Avrix. Thank you, Mr. Jajarak, for your time to be with the Emirati program. We are too uh, proud to meet you today and we wish for you all the best. Inshallah. Thank you so Thank much. You it's, much. It's a pleasure meeting you and it's a pleasure being on uh, such a uh, famous TV channel and such a TV program. Thank you. Thank you.